Um, there's this light that uh, lit up on me for like a year and a half that followed me. And then like I also have like uh, this like these pyramids in the future that I'm supposed to get to in like 148 years. So. All right, welcome back, everybody. We're back in beautiful Sin City. We're here with Haley. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Hey, Haley. Do you give us permission to use this video on our YouTube channel? Yes. I wanted to mention a couple of things. All of you who have subscribed to this channel, I thank you so, so much. Please don't forget, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you like the content. So, Haley, um, I want to know your life story. Is that okay? As much as I'll give you. All Let's right. <laughs> Where did it all start? Um, back in high school. I yeah. Guess I was drinking. I just want to have fun. And Girl, I just want to have fun. Well, I was just super like funny and like outgoing, you know. Yeah. And um, I just really enjoyed like uh, making people happy and joking around, and I've always had like good direction and wisdom, you know, and um, stood up for what's right, and so. Uh, by being a good example, being funny, and you having good delivery, you know, you yeah. just kill it. <laughs> Where were you born? I was born in Fresno. Fresno? Yeah. What was that like? Um, I guess it depends on where you go to school. Like, you know, Fresno is different than Clovis, so... What high school um, did you go to? I went to Clovis, but, uh, I, well, kind of, like, I moved around a lot, you know, and there was a year I also went up into, you know, there's a town called Susanville in Cali, but yeah. it's by Reno, so, yeah. yeah. Okay, what kind of grades were you getting? Uh, it depends on the semester and how much I was flirting with people. Flirting <laughs> with people? Yeah. yeah. Um, you graduated though. Yes. What did you do after high school? Um, well, after high school I did try to go to college a little bit. Um, but I got, I like met this one boy, he was like a hippie boy and I was like gonna be this hardcore hippie and like I don't know if I was I don't know if I was gonna go to like a commune or what, but I thought I was gonna go travel and stuff like that. Yeah. But it ended up working out because I forgot why. Um, yeah. I don't know. I just yeah, I got really disappointed in myself. Okay. Were you raised with both parents? Um, no, I wasn't. Okay. Yeah. Who were you raised by? My mom. Okay. Mm -hmm. How, was she a good mom? Yes, my mom was a very good mom. Awesome. Yes. Um, was there any abuse in the home at all? Um. No, like, like when I was younger, there was, we were like in this one place that wasn't very good, but it like it just like I don't know we got out of it and it was okay. a lot better after that. Like nothing. Was there really was good. no uh, yeah. sexual abuse or anything like that growing up. No. Okay. When did you start dabbling in this hard drugs? It was like complicated. Uh, someone like targeted me to be honest. I think it's just because like I'm very stubborn and hard headed and. Uh, I didn't want to be a prostitute and they were like offended by me and like uh, I don't know I probably like I've always been blunt about stuff yeah. and you know some people just don't take it the right way um, or they hear things about me I don't know so uh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever worked the streets? No. As a prostitute? No. How do you make money out here? I just panhandle to panhandle? be honest. Or like um, but some people are nice so they know who I am or like uh. They know who you are? Yeah. Are you famous? Uh, I would say so. Yeah? yeah. How are you famous? Uh, it's for like just being funny and um, some people, you know, like people like to gossip about like what's going on and stuff. Um, I have traveled and I've talked about telepathy and I've kept my honesty about stuff and uh, that's why some people respect me. Uh, and some people are also heartbroken that I'm out there. Um, but I know that there's some people who try to do stuff about it and uh, some people don't like to talk about ma the magic that's going on in the world, you know? And uh, I've always been honest about it because if I was out there and I was like, I don't, I want to know what's going on, you know, like why aren't people not doing something about it? I'd want to be aware. So uh, it just sucks because like people like don't always know what's going on, you know. And uh, I sometimes I wish I would have broadcasted it more, but there's always danger in that too, you know. Haley, uh, when you were growing up, were you diagnosed with anything? Um, I have an ITP like a bleeding disorder okay um and then like uh, i i got a thyroid problem uh okay. growing up like i think at 11 and yeah. then uh yeah not everyone knows this but there used to be these like flying things in the air uh the nurses used to call them gnats and i was like one of the first things to know about it i didn't know what they were but apparently they were like uh these like uh souls or like uh 
gods. They're supposed to be gods from a different universe that people had like sacrificed or something evilly. And so th they kept coming to me because of who I am. So it's just frustrating. Um, who you are? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm so, so I'm royalty in the afterlife, but uh, I, at the time it was like people weren't treating me like it. So I, it like made my ID hella confusing, you know, because like people would just look at me and like, you know, feel confused and I'd feel confused too because I'd be like, why am I not being treated like this? And, um, but then I knew that there was just like a lot of evil stalkers that I had and I didn't want them involved either. Like, uh, I don't want them like hurting them or like, you know, but I just, it got really weird for a while. Okay. What's the worst thing that's happened to you here on the streets? Not know who people are because of different shape shifting and stuff, getting like the afterlife. Like I was supposed to be in charge of all this breeding and stuff and making rules and it got master deleted and now it's out of control and people come in front of me who are evil to show off and stuff. And I'm mad because I've tried to get to the afterlife and like other people look at me like, like I let them down. And it's like, I don't know what to do because I've asked for help and uh, I can't find these portals or like they disappear in front of me and I've done so much work to f work on it. And uh, I don't, like, since they switch me so much, I don't ever know where I'm at, so it's not fair, you know? Do you have any loved ones out there that care about you? Of course. Who is it? Well, I mean, like, I know they care about me, but why I get mad is... Like, they, who is it? Like, your mom and dad? Yeah, I know my family does. And I mean, I like, my old friends, I'm sure, do, like, once they find out what's going on. Or, do they know you're out here? Well, it just depends on what you heard. Cause some people show the good stuff and then some people show the bad stuff. You know, it just depends on what angle or like your intention, you know? But where are your parents right now? I don't know. No. Do you have they're siblings? I'm sure they're at home. Yeah. Do they know you're out here? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I sent them a text, but I mean, that was a couple weeks ago though. Okay. Yeah. Where would you like to see yourself in two years? Well, I'm hoping that I would, I would get like like you said, the YouTube channel you're talking about, like, would lead to like a reality show. Because I know, like, people are like hurting because, like, they're just waiting for me to see, like, live the good life. A lot of people have like uh, followed me, either wanting to protect me or just keep tabs on me. Um, and then also, they just know I'm a valuable asset and that I've changed the world. Um, I know a lot of people don't always get the truth, so I'm frustrated because that's why people respect me. That's why people follow me. So it just sucks because. Um, there's a lot of people out there who are just trying to ruin my dreams. Uh, what are your dreams? It's probably just to eventually be hella rich and having a reality TV show because I just want to be funny like and to, like I also want to go get to the Bermuda Triangle because um, there's this light that uh, lit up on me for like a year and a half that followed me and then like I also have like uh, this like these pyramids in the future that I'm supposed to get to in like 148 years so okay. like, and then like I also need to, I accidentally activated this shell supposedly from Atlantis. It's supposed to be secret and I don't know what happened with it. Like people don't tell me things and so I'm sad because like I don't know what to do about certain things that happened and I just can't believe that no one's came in and talked to me about it. But I guess it's just because they wanted to steal it from me or rob my jewels or like, and then like I want to access my time store for like, it's supposed to be like three warehouses and like. Who watches you out here? Anyone protect you? Um, well, I don't, I don't know, you know what I mean? I don't want, like, some people stay on the outside to stay safe, I guess, or, like, or... Well, where do you stay at night? Um, it just depends on where I'm at. Yeah, do you ever sleep on the streets? Yeah, but it's, conf like, for the most part, like, I usually find a place, but, um, uh, because I'm charming, you know what I mean? And, like, yeah. some people do know me, it's just frustrating, like, because some people do threaten people, you know? And Have like, you ever been attacked out here? Not in like a crazy way, but like, uh, it, I mean, it's happened, you know? Yeah. Like, um, Do you know where to go for help? For resources, shelters, things like that? Um, yeah, I don't really like to go to them because like, uh, there's things, like I like ruin the business sometimes on yeah. accident. How do you ruin the business? I sent my cloning, uh, I have like this cloning thing inside my head. Uh, well, it was like a part to like make, it's, it's complicated, um, but. When you were younger, were you diagnosed with a learning disability or anything like that? Um, not when I was younger. Uh, as I got older, they marked me schizophrenic. Okay, who's um, they? The nurses. Okay, were you on medication? Um, yes.
Okay. Um, only when I was in the mental ward, though. Okay, how many um, times were you in 5150? Well, the thing that sucks is, like, my life is way different than other people's because there are gods trying in my life trying to help me, but there were also evil people trying to switch me and ruin things and switch me universes and dimensions. And, like, it's just frustrating because the gods had all knowing back then, and, like, they knew that the government was going to have a hard time accepting me and stuff, and so it's just, like, it's way different for me. But also, like, with all the stuff with under, like, underworld and, like, hell, I don't know, it's kind of complicated, but, um, okay. they said that I was schizophrenic, but it was because I was telling the truth too much to the yeah. nurses, and they were like, we can't accept this right now, or, like, I don't know, they weren't prepared for it, and so I get punished for my honesty, so I was just like, that's fine, but, um, I, tr I wanted to challenge it, you know? Hey, Harley, is there anything I can do for you tonight? Can I take you anywhere to a, to, um, a, to a shelter or anything like that? No, honestly, if you can just take me to like a different side of town, I would appreciate yeah. it. Yeah? Do you have a friend out there? Uh, yeah. You do? People mm -hmm. can watch you? Take care of you? Huh? People take care of you? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I'll, fin I'll find a way home. I want to go to L.A. really bad because, I don't know, uh, I heard some things that L.A.'s been waiting for me. No, I can't take it to L.A., but I, know I can you take can. it out I know, here. but some, I'll get there eventually. I don't feel like everyone's necessarily educated on what's going on in the planet. And why I'm mad is because everyone wants to act like wizardry or magic or you're breeding or demons aren't real or eating. And it's like when I come around, I'm trying to talk to you people. It's like don't act stupid with me, especially because... Like, I run all the walls, wells, and caves in the afterlife, and so, like, no matter what, I'm supposed to, I create them, and, like, I create character land, and the presences are because of me, so it's like, how are you going to act stupid with me when I know you know who I am? So it's like, and then when you say something to me, I'm like, don't lie, and then you probably go somewhere, and if someone hears me say don't lie, and they activate it, and you don't have it, it's because you lied to me. So it's, like, frustrating because... There's a lot of people punishing me for things, and then they'll show my twins, and, it's, and I get cursed, and it's like, I get cursed all the time for not knowing things, so it's like ruining my life. Where does your parents live, out there? Huh? Your parents live out in, in what, California? I don't know, they talked about, they were gonna move to Arkansas, so. How long ago did you talk to them? I don't know, like three or four weeks ago. Okay, what's your favorite kind of music? Uh, trap. Yeah? Yeah. Describe trap. Well, it's cause I wanted, I used to listen to Stick It a lot, and that's. Who? Uh, stick it, and okay. I wanted to be a DJ because I just knew like you I could be a DJ. Uh, and then I have a special kind of hearing that like uh, when people listen to music next to me, they like to listen to it too. Okay. And, uh, you could be a DJ. Uh, I wanted to go to like a rave and stuff, and um, I heard that like a lot of people, like evil people, like ruined some raves, and that people are just been waiting for me to go. But why I'm mad is like people always tell me like, like. Uh, like the wrong day or like they'll take me somewhere the day before to like so that my spirit leaks somewhere so it, it says that I went there but it's like a twin who goes there did you say you have an email address you could share with us uh yes what is it tarpikachu uh, 4711 at gmail.com what about you uh, Instagram or Facebook uh yeah Instagram is better uh it's just Tesla love t-e-s-s-u-h-h-l-o-v what about your Facebook um, I got hacked a couple months ago. I haven't been able to get in. Okay, but you do get on Instagram. Yes. Do you want to give a shout out to anybody? Any loved one? Um. Well, I just want to say sorry to everyone who's tried to like help me. I know there's a lot of people like broken, and there's some people who's gotten like punished for liking me. And uh, how about you? Don't worry about that. Let's just hopefully someone can help you. A loved one can reach out to you. Okay. Yes. Do you believe in a higher power? Of course. Okay. Well, God bless you, Harley. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you.